Kurt Widener, Team Starvation Sponsored Athlete, WMBF Pro Bodybuilder. Here to continue with our talk about my workout split. Um, we've covered days one and two. And uh, after following the shoulder back workout on Monday, plus the leg workout on Tuesday, day three, which for me is gonna be a Wednesday, is gonna be an off day. At this point, uh, my body's usually pretty beat up, uh, extremely sore, uh, hurts to walk around, hurts to pretty much move. Um, if you feel that way, then you know you did things right. So Wednesday, all I'm doing is training clients during the day and just resting. I usually don't even do cardio on that day, unless it's just to get a little bit of blood circulation going. So coming off Wednesday's rest day, going into Thursday, uh, we're looking at chest and arms. The reason I like to combine chest and triceps is a lot of the movements that, that hit these um, incorporate the same muscle group. So you're looking at the pectorals, the anterior deltoids, uh, and the triceps, your compound movements that really effectively enable you to build mass in the triceps, things like weighted bench dips and weighted dips. Uh, I would rather not separate that out from chest because you're then interfering with recovery. So while I'm um, hitting the same muscle groups, might as well stay in there and do everything and then let them completely rest to avoid injuries and tendonitis in the shoulder region, which tends to be uh, a joint that's overtaxed anyway. So my chest workouts are usually, the chest aspect of this workout is gonna be roughly three to four movements. It's going to incorporate uh, some type of pressing movement, whether it be a dumbbell press or hammer strength or Smith machine. I am not a fan of barbell presses, never got much out of them. I actually have not incorporated flat bench press in my routine for probably a good 10 years. I think it's one of the most overrated exercises. It really focuses on the shoulder um, and, and the triceps and gets little recruitment of, of muscle fiber in the actual pecs. But again, some of that has to do with my structure as an individual. One thing you have to realize uh, with workout uh, exercises and programs is that what works for one doesn't necessarily work for another. So every person is different. You look at two human beings, limb length, overall structure, torso length is completely different. So what is most effective for one person to enable muscle recruitment in a particular area is not going to be the same as another. Uh, and that's an important thing to consider because just because your friend gets results from something doesn't mean that you're going to. So anyway, we're gonna, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be incorporating different types of exercises. We're gonna pressing movement and then at least one or two types of fly movements using different types of resistance. So we got hammer strength, we got cables, we got dumbbells. Dumbbell fly is probably one of my favorite overall chest exercises for development. And I actually do these slightly different and then I don't use a bench, I use a, a Swiss ball. And what that does is uh, it forces me to incorporate some balance and core stabilization. Uh, I also think that it, it helps with greater muscle fiber recruitment as you're continually making little uh, balancing corrections and you're forcing the muscle to work harder because your surface is unstable. So three to four chest movements, you know, cable flies, maybe some machines, uh, and then we're going to be moving into some arm stuff. For triceps, I'm usually going to be hitting uh, some type of compound movement, either a bench dip or a weighted dip. Uh, again, where you're going to get some additional chest work, some additional shoulder workout, and then you know some tricep work as well, and then at least a couple isolation movements for triceps, which is going to be some form of a skull crusher, incline, decline, or flat, um, or a French press, and then some type of push down, which could be using either a V-bar or a rope. For biceps, you know, a couple movements. Again, I'm going to vary up what I might do for that. Probably one of my favorite bicep exercises would be in. Uh, either a standing or seated alternate dumbbell curl, um, and then some type of cable curl. Uh, again, mixing up the, the, the grip, um, whether I'm using a, a standard easy bar grip or uh, a hammer strength or hammer curl grip to incorporate more of the forearms and brachialis. Uh, you hit at least two movements for the biceps, and so overall we're looking at three to four chest movements. Um, roughly two to three tricep movements and a couple bicep movements for the workout on Thursday. <laughs> 